Okay, hi guys, it's Daxi, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a stream using Picarto and open broadcast software, because that's what I use. Uh, if you want to use something else, you're going to have to find someone who knows how to use that, uh, because this is what I use. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Picarto website. Um, it's picarto.tv. You can just go into Google, type in Picarto. It's the first thing that's going to pop up. You're going to want to make an account or... If you already have an account, you're going to want to log in. I'm already logged in because I was already ready to go. So you're going to, so this is Picarto. I'm going to show you what my dashboard, that my channel looks like. It's it's plain now because there's, I haven't used it in a while, but this is where your stream's going to show up. This is the chat. It's just, it's kind of like, it's essentially Twitch, but for art. So then what you're going to want to do to actually connect your stream is you're going to want to go to configuration. And you're going to want to go over here to stream setup. Now, you can use XSplit or OBS with Picarto. I use OBS. That's what we're going to do. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to just press download. There's also a tutorial here uh, if you want to read that, but some people just do better with video. You're going to click that link. You're going to click, uh, now we're at the OBS website. You're going to click download OBS Studio. You're going to choose whatever operating system you have. I have Windows. And it's going to download. Uh, you can see I already, I just re-downloaded it just now. Uh, it's going to tell you it's going to harm your computer. It's not. It's just your virus software being extra picky. Just click keep. Once it's done downloading, you're just going to click it and it's just going to auto run and you're going to go through the steps. I'm not going to do it because as you can see down here, I already have OBS installed. So after you have that done, you're going to go back to Picarto. And see here where it says streaming server, you're going to need that, and here is your stream key. Now don't let anybody know what your stream key is, because this is what they use to connect your OBS to your stream. So if somebody else gets your key, they're going to be streaming on your channel. So once you're ready for it, you can click show key. If you think somebody's seen it or you're a little sketched out, you can generate a new key. But remember, if you generate a new key, you have to go back and re-input the stream key. So, now that we have OBS already, you can see I'm streaming right now already, and I have everything all set up, all my images. I'll show you how to do that again in another video. Um, you're going to want to go over here to settings. You're going to want to click that. It's going to open this tab. You're going to want to go to stream, obviously. Service. Well, for starters, it's not going to show Picardo at first. You're going to want to click show all services. And then you're just going to click Picarto. So that's that stream server. So if your OBS version does this, you don't need the stream server. Sometimes you have to put it in manually. Um, but in this case, uh, you don't have to. You're going to want to set your server. I'm in Canada, so it's going to be US Canada. And see right here, this is my stream key. Remember? The stream key. That's what you're going to put in there. And then you're just going to click OK. If that's all you want to do, if you want to stream, but also... If you want audio in your stream, you're going to want to set up all your microphones. Um, if you want video in your stream, um, video, yeah. So we can't, I can't show you this part yet um, because we're currently recording. Um, but this is, you just change your resolution, your output resolution, all that jazz. Frames per second is at 30 because I'm not gaming. I don't need 60 frames per second. Um, you can set up hotkeys here. I don't have any because. Well, like I don't need hotkeys. And then here in advanced, um, this is where you're going to go to make sure that your files are recording properly. So if you want to stream, but also be recording your stream um, for your for use on your desktop, on your computer, your Mac, whatever, uh, you're going to want to go here. This is how it's going to save. So it's going to save as like a uh, year, month, date. Um, there's also, yeah, like automatically reconnect so if your stream goes down for bad Wi-Fi it's gonna create it connect uh, you can set up your stream delay um, change your video cards I have integrated graphics so none of this is gonna change um, let's see there oh, is this it here nope wait I lost it okay here we go so by default because I'm recording right now by default OBS has it set to uh, recording format FLV. Um, you're not going to want that because if you do, that's your business, but you would have to download a separate program. I have mine set to MOV so I can open it with QuickTime. Everything can pretty much read and open an MOV file or uh, WMV files or an MP4, so it's just easier that way. If you want to stick with FLV, that's your business. 
Um, here you can change the bitrate. I lowered mine from I think 1800 to 400 just because again I'm not gaming. I don't need the stream to be like uber smooth. Um, and I'm also trying to probably going to be running like Photoshop, Premiere, maybe even Toon Boom eventually. Uh, I don't want um, my programs to suffer because I'm trying to run this super smooth stream. Um, because again, I'm, I'm running on a Cintiq Companion. Um, not a lot there. <laughs> it's not a super computer. Um, so you're going to press OK after you're done setting all of that up. And then here are your buttons. You're going to click start streaming if you want to stream. Start recording. It says stop because I'm recording now. Um, you can go to studio mode. I don't know what that is. Settings is there. And then exit. You just click if you're done. Uh, here's all my audio. And in another video, I'll show you how to set up um, your little HUD. Because I'm going to be adding more to mine. So I'll just record it while I'm doing it. And uh, let you guys see it. But that's essentially how you stream to Picarto. And like if you go to my channel now, we go to channel. It's, a, it's gonna start off saying stream offline um, when you're streaming, but it will go back on. But again, I'm not streaming, but this is where the stream would be ha if I was streaming. It would just show up here. You always kinda wanna test it to make sure it's working because I tried to record this video earlier and I had all this was all jumbled up, so it was just a black screen with two little Daxies and Daxie Royal on it. There was just, and you can see the top of the uh, the toolbar. Um, so you want to make sure you test out your stream first before you just dive in it. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know, and that's all I wanted to show you guys.